Are you thinking of building a house and perhaps you are faced with the challenges of the financing from the banks? Perhaps you've been applying for a house, but then the finances are not enough to build your conventional um, brick house. We have the solution for you. We are building new tech houses. They are quite competitive in terms of the pricing and they are quick to assemble, quick to build, durable just like a brick or any conventional house. They don't take long to build, they are waterproof and they are also fire resistant, sound resistant and they are solid structures just compared to the, just as compared to the brick um, or any conventional house. If you're thinking of building a house, perhaps you've been working on a budget to build a house and you have been trying to source funding for the house, you've been going to the banks, applying for loans and all that. However, the price has been way above your budgets. I would encourage you to try the prospect of building a house using new tech or fiber cement products. They are quite competitive, like I said, and cheaper as compared to the brick houses. They do not take a lot of materials compared to the brick houses, right? And perhaps the question that you have is what are new tech houses? So new tech houses, they are houses that are similar to the houses that you see in most of the um, movies that you watch, especially in North America, United States of America, Canada, Australia, and some parts of Europe, especially in the eastern part, Estonia, and Eastern Europe, and also some parts of Africa that have embraced these type of houses especially South Africa and particularly the Western Cape. They are fiber cement houses, which means that they are made of um, cement. Uh, these are boards that are made of cement. Uh, they are man-made boards, which are made in a, a factory um, through the processes of um, uh, manufacturing, uh, uh, using uh, water, silica, and other raw materials, which then brings the new tech boards. They are quite solid very solid boards and they are durable they are not of asbestos in nature they might have some slight resemblance but we are not using asbestos they are not asbestos new tech boards they are totally different from asbestos and they are very strong and durable they build structures that tens the elements be it natural elements be it termites be it anything that can try to gnaw the board because the termites and all those other elements, they do not like the new tech uh, texture. So they cannot go on and gnaw those boards. Neither can they gnaw the timber because the timber that we use is also treated. Neither can they also uh, use, um, destroy the steel frames because the steel frames that we use is galvanized, right? So those are the advantages of building um, using new tech the most uh, biggest advantage which I can say uh, of building with new tech uh, would be the duration they are quick to build quick to assemble so your time frames in terms of your building project is very uh, uh, quicker compared to the brick because you're looking at a time frame of between one to two weeks for the most average houses if not slightly bigger it will be three weeks and the biggest one six weeks and rarely do we go to two months on a project so those are the advantages of going with new tech right weatherproof you know there's a lot of weather elements climatic conditions they are weatherproof they are waterproof the new tech board so it comes as an advantage and then you go on the fire resistance fireproof fire resistance soundproof sound resistance if the right insulation is used of course so there is a lot of advantages then you go on price i think that is the most important aspects of building budgets we are cheaper by far compared to building with brick by we i mean us people who are building new tech houses we provide products that are quite competitive and cheaper as compared if we to take the same project or the similar project and build it using bricks or blocks. So those are the advantages. They come with all the finishings, similar finishings to the brick. 
so you would expect to get same finishings that you get when you walk inside a new tech house there's not any difference it does look the same there is toilet basin showers there's geysers there's bathtubs there's uh, painting of the walls there's insulation in the walls and the roof there's and everything that you see once you're inside you can't even tell that it's the outside is new tech because our walls inside we use rhino boards or gypsum boards and we use the right thicknesses and those boards are skimmed over and painted and then once you paint you can't tell the difference the pictures and the videos that are on this platform they can show you what i mean so if you want to build a new tech house wherever you are in south africa if you've got a budget right now and you want to build a house but then you are going to the bank applying for the home loan the bonds and then you are just being pushed around messed around we know all the stories that happens when someone is applying for a loan and you are failing to get funding but perhaps you do have some money that you have saved somewhere there or some finances that you have saved somewhere there or some funding that you are getting from your savings or somewhere there but that cannot mean meet to build with brick uh, a complete project for example 120 square meters or 90 square meters 200 square meters why don't you try a new tech house with that same amount you might be surprised that you might be able to afford a new tech house or even save a lot of money after building with new tech houses because we are competitive new tech houses are competitive unlike the brick houses so this video is just to try to enlighten the market and people who watch our channels that uh, new tech houses they are the best solution in terms of provision of alternative housing solutions they are quite good uh, for those people who have traveled throughout the world we have been in countries where these structures are they can attest to that that the new tech houses they're as good as brick unfortunately in this part of the world in south africa brick and block tends to dominate but it is time now that uh, there has to be a shift towards sustainable building solutions and especially within this period that we are living with where sustainable uh, building materials are the thing the in thing that they are talking about because of the climate change and so on i would encourage all our clients to consider new tech houses and build with new tech houses and uh, try to see if you can give us a call and we give you a quotation we send you a quotation rather and you do the comparisons brick versus new tech you'd find out that the new tech might end up to be the best and um, most competitive product that can save you a lot of money time you don't want a project that would take over a year or years is what i've seen in brick people who build big um, houses in brick they take long to build and complete the structures but in new tech, we give you a maximum of six weeks and a maximum of maybe two weeks more from the six weeks. If it's, a, if, if it's the biggest project that we can build, two months, one and a half to two months is what we can spend on your project. So for those who are watching and are interested in alternative housing solutions, we are this, the best. New tech is the best. Try new tech. You won't be disappointed. They come with various sizes from a smaller as a one room to two room to three room to two bedrooms three bedrooms four bedrooms they come with all sizes with all the specific uh, specifications they come with all the finishings toilet basin and shower electricity geysers the heat electrical solar tiling of the bathrooms tiling of the floor all the finishings that you might think of they are just as uh, similar to the brick and all the houses that we do uh, that they are being done or built in the market or that we've been accustomed to growing up and uh, that we have seen the world building quite beautiful buildings that can be built with new tech and uh, normally the requirements uh, similar also to the brick houses that you have to go through the council obtain um, an approval you, your plan you uh, communicate with an architect you build um, on an approved plan and get the municipal stamps approved then the builder can build you the house the inspectors they come and check the structure engineer pass the structure you get your occupational certificate they uh, do them 
they do also require uh, compliance certificates for plumbing and electrical we issue all those in terms of the um, after self service we give you a guarantee and warranty our guarantee is five years so all those are the advantages of building with a new tech you can call us at any time if there is a problem with your plumbing or electrical and we can come and attend to those problems so that is an advantage of building with um, uh, new tech houses competitive in price compared to the brick and also you need to do your due diligence because there's quite a lot of builders within the new tech trade or market that are unscrupulous and also that are not good builders that can be people who maybe perhaps run away with your money because there's a lot of fraud and scams going on so you need to do your research us at pinnacle homes we are able to build you the house we have done that we have never left any project incomplete we have completed all our projects and we can give you references we've got traceable references we can also uh, take you to places where we've built you can meet our previous clients you can see what we have built we have got uh, references from the point of the building itself until to the completion so that is an advantage right and if should your budget are not enough uh, but you still want the house we can sit down with you as well we've got what we call budget new techs that uh, ensure that uh, everyone has got a new tech house so we can also give you uh, price models that suits the budgets of those who cannot afford the uh, ones that are perhaps of the standards of the sabs and science pro standards the ones that are of the engineering spec standards or the council standards we can build the basic new tech or the budget new tech houses so there is everything for there is every house for everyone at pinnacle homes and uh, try us give us a call and you won't be disappointed right uh, my name is michael emmanuel i represent pinnacle homes and projects and we are based here in cape town uh, in good however we are able to build in any part of south africa be it uh, the whole entire Western Cape, be it uh, Johannesburg, be it Kauteng, Limpopo, Mpumalanga, KZN, Eastern Cape, Northern Cape, Free State, Northwest, the entire Republic, even the Limpopo province uh, towards Zim. So Mpumalanga also towards Mozambique, we can cover the whole country, KZN. So try us, give us a call. We can also build outside of South Africa. We can work in Namibia. We've got a sister company in Namibia, Pinnacle Homes International. We can also build within the Southern Africa region if called upon to do so. Um, we can work in, in any uh, geographical area. We are not limited to the, within the borders of South Africa. So whenever you're thinking of an alternative housing solution, perhaps you've been going through the um, processes of obtaining a loan through the bank, uh, you've been going through funding processes but still the money is not enough to get you your dream house why don't you try to new tech that same amount that you, you have right now but you have it but it's not enough for the type of house that you want bring it to us let's sit on the table let's have a meeting let's discuss let's provide you solutions and let's build you, build you that beautiful house that you need for your family Building a house is quite good because then it's an investment, a lifetime investment that ensures that uh, you're creating generational wealth that can be passed within generations. And you also have collateral should you want to cash on on loans for your business in future because you've got title to that house. It's funded by the banks and so on. So try us on your projects and you won't be disappointed. We are we have got all the artisans from the plumbers, the tilers, the electricians qualified for that, builders. Our record speaks for itself. We've been in business for 15 years plus, actually, uh, since 2008. And we have built a number of new tech houses, perhaps more than 500 Wendy houses and new techs up to date uh, throughout the Western Cape, particularly and mo mostly in Cape Town. We can build anywhere in Cape Town be it the Cape Flats, be it um, the northern suburbs, be it the southern suburbs, be it the west coast, Atlantic seaboard, be it any part of Cape Town, uh, southern peninsula, uh, Force Bay, 
the towns surrounding Cape Town. If you talk of Strand, Stellenbosch, Wellington, Tau, uh, Hermanas, and as far as even George, Neisner, Sagefield, the War Garden Route, Winelands, we can build up the west coast as far as Saldana, Fredenberg, Ferendale, Springbok, Northern Cape. We can build anywhere. We are not limited to any place uh, geographically. So whenever you have um, an interest in trying our products or in building with new tech, give us a call. We are available on 074-246-4182 or 83-730-9360. And my name is Michael Emmanuel and our website is www.pinnaclehomes.co.za. I'll repeat the phone numbers again. 074-246-4182 or 83-730-9360. We are available on www.pinnacleworms.co.za. Our Facebook pages, Pinnacle Worms and Projects, Pinnacle Worms, New Tech Worms Cape Town, New Tech uh, Worms Western Cape, and uh, New Tech Houses on Facebook. And also on TikTok, we are available as Pinnacle Worms and all other uh, social media channels like Twitter as Pinnacle Ones. Thank you.